Here we have a 2017 MacBook Air that came in for no power. Customer came in locally and he said that he dropped liquid on the laptop and the laptop no longer powers on. We already disassembled the board. This tiny small board, it looks like an iPad's motherboard. And just based on initial visual inspection using my eyes, I do see signs of corrosion on this side of the board and signs of corrosion on that side of the board here and on the back. I do not see anything obvious here, but we do not know unless we inspect the board under a microscope. You cannot see everything by the naked eye. All the components are microscopic. So just a quick visual inspection. We are looking for corrosion. Maybe burnt components. And just anything obvious that can lead us to what the problem may be. The board looks super clean. I do not see anything wrong with the board on this side of the board. I'll show you where the corrosion is based on initial inspection right here. I was able to tell by just looking at the board that we had corrosion here. We have corrosion on the CD chip. And if the CD chip is affected, the laptop will not charge and it will not power on. So we do see that the CD chip is affected. And this one is the CD3215. And we see quite some corrosion here on a lot of areas of the board. Some corrosion here as well. And that's about it. Maybe we can start with reflowing the area to get rid of the corrosion. Maybe reflow this chip, go over this chip, go over this one, and go over this one. Reflowing can help solve the problem if the chip itself is still good. Corrosion may have made its way under the chip and maybe shorted out solder balls under the chip. But as long as the chip itself is still good, reflowing should fix the problem. If you look on the back here, we do see corrosion here. Nothing major. And we do see slight corrosion maybe right here. We won't remove the shield for now. But look, we do see signs of corrosion or signs of liquid here. We do not know if liquid made its way under the shield. To remove the shield, we're going to have to apply a lot of heat and desolder the shield. It's soldered on. It's not a shield that we can just pop out. For now, let's not worry about this. If we zoom in to this area, basically we cannot see much, but I do see shiny joints. We'll see. Let's inspect the rest of the board. and I do not see any more liquid damage. Let's start with this area. We're going to apply flux. Flux everywhere. Because we have flux by the tons. So why not make use of it? Let's remove this one here so it does not burn. And then we can put it back later. Anything else that could possibly burn when we apply heat? This one right here. And that's it. So I did not measure anything yet. All we're gonna do is reflow to get rid of the corrosion and then we can measure possibly the caps that we have down here, some of the surrounding caps, and we'll take it from there. Let's rotate. And now we have room to push on that chip from here.
that's enough. Hopefully if there's any corrosion under the chip, we just got rid of the corrosion. And like I said, we're gonna measure, we're gonna go over the surrounding caps, make sure we do not have a short. If we do have a short, we may have to replace the capacitors or the chip itself. We do not know yet. So why don't we get rid of the reflection so we can see better using our anti-glare light. If you do not know what the anti-glare light is, you can look up our video, Northwich Fix Anti-Glare and you can purchase the light off our site just log into northwishfix.com click on shop and you can find all the tools that you need from our shop everything is in stock and almost always all orders ship out same day we have everything from soldering stations hot air stations thermal cameras grinding pen uh, we are a distributor for the amtec flux and a lot of the brands that we carry in the shop here i mentioned this for all new viewers because old viewers you already know so as you can see, we got rid of the corrosion by reflowing this area. We're gonna apply more flux and possibly go over this area here. Then we can clean up and test. Now we did see slight corrosion on this area of the CD chip. We do not know if liquid made its way under the chip or not but we're gonna reflow anyway assuming the chip or the chips are still good reflowing will do nothing if the chip itself is bad And if we go back to our ring light, we can see the board in a different view. Big difference between ring light and anti-glare light, and both of them have their own use. I can see certain things with the ring light that I cannot see with the anti-glare and vice versa. Or we can use both at the same time to get the image that we need. And that's why I always tell customers who purchase the microscope from us to buy the ring light and the anti-glare light. You have a lot of options. You can combine both or you can use one of them at a time to get the view that you want. It's money well spent. You're not wasting your money when you buy those. You're going to use them every day. Being able to view the board clearly using a quality microscope and quality light is the best tool on your bench. And that's if you work on repairs. A lot of the viewers on the channel, they do repairs. Some of them, they do it as a hobby. Some of them, they like to learn new stuff and others. They have nothing to do with electronics repair, but they just watch it because they are fascinated by how tiny those components are and how stuff works. Just like when you see on YouTube how to remove an engine from an airplane. You're not going to go and remove an engine from an airplane, and even if you have the tools, you're not going to be able to do it. But it's nice to see how stuff are done. Last time I was watching on YouTube how stuff are made, and I came across this video where they were making camera lenses. A camera lens. And it's amazing the process that they go through to make a camera lens. And they said it takes them about two months to make one lens. And that's why lenses are expensive, quality lenses. You have to worry about a lot of things when making a lens. Quality in the center, quality on the edges, vignetting, chromatic aberration. And that's why quality lenses are expensive, $2,000, $1,500. Go back to anti-glare, you see the difference? Now you are able to see more stuff with the anti-glare light. Zero reflections. We do not have corrosion anymore. Let's go ahead and measure the caps and make sure we do not have a short. Meter in diode mode. And we're gonna measure right over here. We do not have a short. I was basically concerned with the caps around the chip and the caps are not measuring for a short. No short. 
no short and we should be good what if we go over this that's good let's flip the board just go over the back quick and then we can hand this over to big boss to reassemble and test and we'll see we'll take it from there i'm not gonna replace any cd chips right now but when tough gets going go and get stuff the corrosion here is minimal so that's good and not much going on here so should we consider this laptop fixed nobody knows unless you're a psychic like the shop next door that went out of business and they did not see it coming maybe you're one of those all right i'm gonna hand the board over to big boss to reassemble and test and i'll be back to finish the video all right good news big boss reassembled the laptop and it's been on for 15 minutes he's testing to see if the battery would charge and amazing the laptop did work reflowing did work this is the area with the corrosion. We reflowed back of the board and also cleaned this side of the board. And the laptop is on. It's currently charged at what? Right here, 16%. It's been on for maybe 15 minutes. Okay, and the cable is unplugged and the laptop is on without the cable. Amazing. That's it. Thank you very much, Big Boss. Okay. You are the boss of all bosses as always. Anything that Big Boss touches works. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.